Hello folks and welcome to the Vertigo Tea Party and let's try Darkwood. It's by Acid Wizard Studio. It had a successful Indiegogo campaign. It's currently in alpha on early access on Steam. And you can pick it up for $14.99 for Windows, Linux, or Mac. Let's go ahead and hop right in. Now, it is a top-down horror survival game. And I've actually been following this game for quite a while when it was, well, early on when it was announced on Steam as being on Greenlight and whatnot. And uh, so we're gonna, I, I had a lot of high expectations going in. Even considering it's an alpha, you know, I was I was expecting a lot because it looked intense because i not really into the whole horror genre at all. Not really that into it, not that interested. It's fun to watch other people play, but not so much uh, to play myself. I just don't that interested. But this looked cool because it looked more tense and you know, you had to fight for survival and all that. So I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and kill this dog with this. Now, the first thing you'll notice is the combat is you just kind of hold right click and left click. When you hold right click, there's a circle that kind of goes down and you need to click with while, you know, before it runs out, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if there's any point, like if you're supposed to wait until it hits right in the middle, if it helps, because, but I do notice the dot goes red if you let it go all the way in. But uh, anyway, let's loot this dog. They always only have this meat on them, or at least as far as I've seen, they only had this meat. Now at the top left, you see three different bars. The first is our health bar. The second is our stamina, attacking, running, things like that. All of those use stamina. The third is a blue bar. No idea what the blue bar does uh, at all. Uh, not clue. It's been slowly building up over time, but I don't know what it does. There are these things in the ground, these holes. I don't really know what they're for yet. Uh, this game is definitely one... Ooh, a bear trap. I love bear traps. This game is definitely one that doesn't tell you a whole lot. You just kind of have to put the pieces together, which, you know, you may like that or dislike that. Uh, let's go ahead and harvest these mushrooms. Now, you got to be careful with these mushrooms. If you run over them, they'll actually explode and poison you, which is unfortunate, but you can eat them and they'll heal you. Go figure. I don't know how that works. I'm no biology major. So you're in this world. You don't quite doesn't really explain why you're here there's been some relics of world war ii i think it was or world war one I, I forget which but i think it's world war ii anyway there's been some of those relics found about uh mostly there's been quests like it's not one of those survival horror games where it just throws you in it's like okay well all you've really got to do is survive go and there seems to be you know a series of quests here and currently what i'm trying to do is this one lady asked me to find her brother and I asked this one annoying little guy about the brother, and he was like, oh, I know where he is, but I need you to go do this for me first. One of those kind of chain of events, you scratch my back, I'll scratch your type type deal. So it took me forever, but I finally found this guy's house that he wanted me to go get something for. At least I think I did, uh, but it seems to be filled with gas. So what I'm trying to do now is get to the merchant's house, or at least where I think the merchant is, I'm not even sure. Now you do have a map. You can see here, it doesn't show you where you actually are, which can be a problem for somebody like me who gets lost incredibly easily. Uh, it, it, these things pop up after you discover them. They're not there by default. Uh, and it, oddly enough, it actually does not even mark where your, how, your main base of operations is, uh, which kind of sometimes makes it difficult to tell where stuff is in relation to where you start. But I think you start like right about here. But I think the hunter's house is where I want to go. I'm not quite sure. Oh, we don't want to run into that or we'll get poisoned. And you do not regen health automatically. You have to eat or use bandages. Uh, our inventory is already full, which I've had a ton of problems with. Uh, now you you can drop stuff off at your base, but I'm trying to actually go trade, so I'm carrying stuff with me. Let's just eat this bread. Nope, bread gives me makes my lungs more efficient, which means we can run better, run more. Let's go ahead and use the bandage. Now, as you can tell, there is a crafting system. It seems like these things just automatically light up as soon as you have the materials to craft them. So you can make some torches, bandages, a lockpick, some Molotovs, uh, bandages with alcohol, which heals better, a plank with nails, which is your, by far, so far at least, your primary weapon, broken glass for a trap, hot bar upgrade, you need a piece of fabric, but those are rare and you cannot make them as far as I can tell. And I also learned a recipe for antidote. You also can find recipe cards that you learn so that you can make new things. Uh, most of that stuff though, I learned by default, like torches. I don't think you need a recipe to make a torch, right? And that just makes sense. Ouch, I, apparently I found a bear trap. Not in a good way. 
Am I supposed to be doing something or? Can't move for some time. Okay, I just gotta wait. So, I probably should have a torch out since it is kind of dark over here. Unfortunately, this is one of those games where stuff breaks very, very easily. So using a bear trap means that's a one-time use. There is no durability on traps. They just go away forever once you use them, which I think is unfortunate. I understand what they're going for. I understand the whole, oh, you know, you've got to be very careful with your resources because stuff will be broken very quickly. But let me reuse stuff a little bit. Uh, these planks with nails, I've had to make tons of these things. That's where most of my nails have gone, is to making planks with nails. Uh, see, so we have four mushrooms. Uh, let's go ahead and just eat one. It gives you a heal over time. You can see your buffs and debuffs up here. Uh, let's see. Oh, I was going to make a torch, wasn't I? But I cannot because I need rags and I don't have any on me. And I left them all at the base because I'm trying to get to this damn merchant guy so I can try to sell some things. So that's why I'm carrying so much with me at the time. So I think I'm roughly in the area of the house, but I haven't been able to explore it because I keep getting attacked and killed over and over, so I had to keep making this run over and over, and finally I decided I'm just going to record this because I've been playing this a long time. I gotta say, as much as I was interested in this game, and under, even understanding it's alpha, alpha, I keep playing it and playing it, hoping it will get more interesting, but to be totally honest with you, I've been incredibly bored with it up until this point. I'm going to make another axe, or a plank with nails, because as you see, this one's about half, and these things break very quickly. And they are our only weapon. Ouch. And of course, there was a bear trap there that I missed. And little guy's bugging out. Well, I'm gonna die here. So, I've just been incredibly bored with the game so far. I've just found it to be not very interesting. Let's see if we can actually use our, our bandage. No, we can't make any bandages. Well, then I guess we'll just run and hope for the best. And of course, you can also see we have this line of sight. So if there's something behind you, you can't see it unless it's like right on top of you. Oh, this is actually the cabin I was looking for. Well, we're pretty much boned at this point, unless I can find some mushrooms. You can also see the time at the top. Uh, as with a lot of these survival horror type games, you have to be back. You know, you you know want to be back at your base before nightfall. Now, that's one of my issues with this game is that you have to be back at your base at nightfall. Because there's something, at, as far as I can tell, only your base, or at least so far in the game, I'm still, despite having about four or five hours in, I'm still pretty damn early. Oh, I do have mushrooms. I'm an idiot. So despite being early, uh, you know, five hours in, I'm still pretty damn early, mostly because I can't get to that damn house to progress the quest at all. But you have to go back to your base specifically, again, at least at this point in the game. You can't just find shelter and hide. Because as with a lot of survival games, and, the, you know, one of the things that I liked about it is that you can barricade windows, barricade doors, use your resources to barricade yourself in to get through the night, excuse me. And I like that aspect, but so far I have to go all the way back home every night, or I just die. Frankly, most of the time I just end up getting myself killed because either there's too many monsters and I can't run away from them and they chase me forever, or because I just get bored of running back and forth, so I'm just like, screw it, I'm just gonna die. There he is. And four days, you can see how mushrooms do not heal very much health. And we're probably going to die to this guy. He's only got a stick. That's another problem I have. Is like these guys only have sticks. And I can beat on them with this plank with nails in it. And they just kind of shrug it off. Like it's not nothing. It's not a thing. I could also lay a bear trap, I guess, and lead him into it. If I really wanted to. But here's the thing, and this is kind of the the tough part of these survival horrors, is that... Yeah, I'll just lay a trap. Ah, shit. Oh, there's a dog, and we're dead. Yep. So now we die. So what is the penalties for dying? Well, luckily it's not roguelike. Thank Christ. You can actually choose to do that, though. When you do a new game, you can make it permadeath. It's for those people who are sick enough to enjoy that. But the penalties otherwise are everything you have on you that can break takes serious durability hits. So I might as well just throw that away. So now I have to go out yet again. This is probably the fifth or sixth time I've had to run out to try to get to this dude's house. I also have to click buttons twice to select an object. This has gotten me killed once or twice because normally I just hit it once and switch. But sometimes you have to hit it twice and I don't quite understand why that is. Uh, I think you can't switch while you're running. Maybe that's it. That's very weird. 
but you can't switch while you're running. But, yeah, I just got to say, the game has just been incredibly boring so far. And it, I gotta say, that very much disappoints me because I was very much looking forward to this. I thought it looked really cool, despite not really being in the horror thing, or even the whole survival horror thing. This looked interesting to me just because of the atmosphere, and, you know, I like the idea of, you know, gathering materials and then bunkering up at night and, you know, boarding yourself up. And then during the day, trying to get, you know, what you need to get done, done, and, you know, slowly building a base and, you know, all that. But oh, let's pick this, pick this meat back up. Yeah, I tried dropping meat. The meat is supposed to, like, the meat comes from, ooh, pills. Pills here. Yeah, somebody was thinking it. Oh, mushroom. There's mushroom remains. We're okay. There's a corpse. Oh, wow. Pills, nails. We definitely need a lot of nails because we go through a lot of them. Alcohol, that's also very useful for things like torches and what have you. Oh, we don't have room in inventory. I already had it inventory space again. But again, like I said, I'm carrying a lot of stuff just because I want to... If I can find this damn merchant, I would like to sell it to him. But I don't know why I checked the map because I don't know where I'm at. I think I'm close to his house or that house. I'm not even... Like I say, I'm not even sure if that's his house yet. And the reason I'm trying to get to his house is because the other house, which I think is correct, is filled with gas. And the only way that I know of to get through there is to get a gas mask from him. All right, here's a house. Is this where that dog was? It probably was. Let's go open up the barricaded window. Now, we can break the barricade. If you hover over the barricade at the bottom, you can see that gray health bar. But it would take probably at least, at least two different plank uh you know, wood pieces of planks with with um nails in it to get through that uh, even on an axe over half your durability on your axe is eaten up to get through a barricade so you generally only want to break those if you absolutely have to right, this is pretty barricaded up and again like i said i don't even know if this is his house and i'm getting the impression that it's not because this is hunter house and you start from here but it's supposed to be northwest I don't know if it's this far northwest or not. And again, I'm not really, you know, have an issue with that. Like, having everything's drawn out for you or whatever. That's fine. That you have to figure it out yourself. And they only give you, like, a, some vague directions on how to get there. It's just the dying is so easy because the combat's not very good and you tend to break shit. And these things are a real pain in the arse. Now, watch the durability of my weapon here. Oh, I'm also out of stamina. Gotta wait for stamina to come back up. But if you, like, if you chain hit them, luckily it lasted just until the end. As you can see, just one thing of combat can either completely destroy or almost completely destroy your item. And because you don't want stuff breaking in the middle of a fight, you, a lot of times you're going to end up wanting to throw it away anyway. Because one, you don't really have the inventory space to carry around a bunch of extra crap a lot of times. And two, you, you just want to make a new one. Because if you get into a fight and stuff breaks, it's going to be a pain to try to run and then create it and what have you. So, yeah, stuff breaks super easy. Uh, even the axe that God, you know, if you can actually find it, it breaks pretty damn easy. I don't know what this book is for. Let's just take pills. I don't think any of these actually help our health, though they don't. And I don't have any rags. What can I throw away? I definitely don't want to throw away the gun. This weird stone is probably relevant somehow. This ammo I'm purposely keeping just to take to what's-his-face. Uh, and I guess we just don't... We could eat this weird odd meat. I forget what that does. Oh, your skin's thicker. So, better armor? Or you're just better at taking insults, I guess. Oh, wait, no. He was throwing that away. Because, again, once, and once a weapon is, like, halfway, you pretty much want to replace it. Because if you get into a fight, it's not going to be pretty. All right, so let's see if we can get inside of this house. It seems like I've been in here once. But it's been a while back. But yeah, I, I got to say, like, so far I've been been pretty disappointed just because I just... I'm not scared. I'm not tense. I'm, I just get really bored. Like, I just feel like... All right, there's... Okay. Oh, we did get this dog. That's right. Huge dog. Odd meat. We'll go ahead and loot that. But yeah, it feels like there's no... There's no direction. I know that seems weird for a survival horror, right? Because a lot of times you don't really have a direction. It's just, well, survive. In this game, you can do that. You can just hole up in your own house. And hopefully, if I can actually make it tonight once, you know, you do have to get back and, you know, 
and barricade yourself in and hide and all that. But, uh, oh, that's right. I found, yeah, I did find this before because there was a lot of stuff here. Um, we'll put the watch back. I want the empty bottles. The gasoline obviously could be super handy. Um, we'll use the pills. Oh, wow. Those pills were very nice. I have to remember those. And I actually dropped the gas on the ground. Let's go ahead and pick that back up. All right, so this is obviously not even the house that I wanted. Yeah, that's right, because I killed that guy before. So let's look at the map. We're at the hunter's house. There is, looks like what I presume to be a road that goes up. There's also a lot of this kind of stuff going on, like the artificial type barriers, which I guess you could say those are man-made barriers to keep people out. You can crawl over some things like this. Well, not this fence, I guess. Or can I? Nope. Some fences you can crawl over, some you can't. I guess that's barricades. Problem is with it being top down, it's really hard to tell what's a low, low fence and what's a high wall. And I guess those are supposed to be high walls because you can't even see over them. So I think it's safe to say those are probably high walls. But yeah, so far it's been mostly standard, like going from one quest to the next, which I've not really got that far because I can't seem to find this kid's violin that he wants. But mostly because I, one, had a hard time finding where his house was at all. And then two, finally finding it. And, well, again, what I think is it. Uh, we found another cottage with high walls, apparently. But, yeah, finding it. But then now I can't get in to investigate because it's filled with gas. And I'm pretty sure that's his house because he made kind of an allusion to it being stinky or something along those lines. So I'm pretty sure that's that's going to be his house. What is that? What in the... Oh, that, this, oh, that's pigs, I think. There's a generator. Sure, why not? Let's hop in here. The cone, the, the cone of vision thing, I like that. It does make it a bit more tense. Or, you know, theoretically makes it more tense. I'm out of room for more wooden blocks. Unfortunate. I always want more nails. Wow, I'm actually out of nail Or na room for nails, too. Pretty impressive. So at least they give you a lot of these materials to make these boards with nails in them because you're going to need a ton of them. I said, oh, that's another pig. Another generator? Get in here with the pigs. And you can, again, you can see that you can barricade the windows if you want. What have you. Obviously, we don't do that right now. A note. Oh, happy, happy day. Today, I get to see her again. I hope she likes what I have prepared. She doesn't have an appetite lately, but we have our ways around that. Now, do we? I've dug up something very special for her today. My queen. Only I can be close to her. No one else. No one. I won't let anybody near you again. Well, that looks good. It's got a bunch of drawing of pigs and what have you. That's great. I'm sure this person is completely and utterly sane. As far as your other things, you have a journal, which apparently at some point you get skills. I haven't gotten far enough to get actual skills yet. A uh, journal, which, oh, right, there we go. Uh, that kind of updates as you go along about the v various individuals and things that you find, important notes. Uh, also, you can like click on this. Some of these you can click on to bring up pictures of whatever it was that you that you saw. Some of them, it's kind of flaky when I click on it, but then again, it, again, it is beta. So supposedly here's your keys. It doesn't list any. I do have some keys, but again, I'm assuming it's just not in there just yet. There's other tabs as well that are marked off. I'm assuming either because I haven't done what I need to do to make it so I can see them or, uh, or that, you know, it's just not implemented yet. So as you can also see, there's a bunch of like clay or not clay, chalk drawings in the floor drawing uh pi or showing pigs and sons and big sharp teeth like teeth i think it's hard to tell so apparently somebody was hanging out here with the pigs and making notes and drawing on the floor which is pretty creepy so a lot of these crates have combination locks on them i haven't been able to find any of the combinations just yet but i'm gonna go ahead and turn these generators off because they actually do have gas as you can see again at the bottom there you can see how how lit up it is Actually, you know what? let's go ahead and keep this on for now. I want to run back in here and check out a few things with the lights on. I don't think it really matters. I think maybe there's some enemies that looks like we got stuck on that lamp. I think there are some enemies who might be like don't like the light, or maybe the light kills them. I haven't really been able to experiment with that just yet. Oh, here's a door. Some more drawings on the floor. 
to the shelf. Ooh, a flashlight and a repair kit. Okay, repair kits, super useful. With those, you can repair just about anything that's broke. Uh, mostly axes. That's what I really want to be able to fix is an axe. Uh, let's see. I kind of want to keep the empty bottle because I can make the, the trap. The glass trap. The pigs are just kind of running out of the door here. The wall. I don't know if that's... They're trying to get in here for a reason or if it's just weird AI. Could be either. Could be anything. Search the chair. Oh, we got another weird stone. And we can only carry one. <sighs> See, here's the thing. Like, normally you'd be like, oh, well, I need to return to my hideout to drop this stuff off. But I don't like running back and forth because it can be very tedious. However, we need to anyway because it's almost nighttime. And maybe I can actually survive long enough to show you guys the night. We'll see about that. Unfortunately, all these high walls are just enough to stop us from going. Let's go ahead and turn these generators off. Because theoretically, maybe at some point we could come and siphon gasoline out. That would be amazing. In fact, I'd be surprised if maybe not even just right now. Later on, maybe you can come in and siphon gasoline. Because gasoline you can use for your generator. Even though I almost never use my own generator, I haven't found the reason to yet. So this was what? This was the, the cottage. So just for ease of finding our way out of here, let's just run south. I still wish I knew what that blue meter did. I'm assuming that's... I think that might fill up every day. But I'm not really sure. Honestly, the dogs and stuff, I usually just run away from. It's not worth fighting them. It costs you item durability. It costs you materials. It costs you health. It costs you time. And the only thing you get out of it is meat. And the only thing that meat is supposedly good for is attracting carnivores away well you can drop it to to draw them away from you but you can also drop the meat into traps to draw them to it so it kills them but again i haven't found a use for that yet doesn't mean there's not one i just haven't found what it is yet but as we run back yeah i again understand that this is alpha i like the atmosphere i like the ideas behind this i like you know the vision cone i like you know the whole having to you know hide at night from the evil creatures it's been done quite a few times you know just be honest but you know i i still think it's a cool idea and i think it could work here uh, if you manage your stamina right you can kind of infinitely run from dogs at least to the point that they just piss off or we can just drop the meat to make them go away all right so now you can see i've got a debuff at the top right and it says the thirst to survive i need to drink the water from the well and this is what I was talking about before, about seeming kind of like a like a heavy-handed mechanic to force you to go back to your base specifically every night. Now, it might be possible that you can get this special water from any well, and I wouldn't be, in fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. Um, I think my house might be over here. That or this is the chicken lady, I can never remember. I think this is mine. Yes. Yeah, I think this is ours. So let's get back to the well. Now, this pretty much happens every single time you go to the well. We go to the well, we drink, and we get attacked immediately. Don't really know why, but you do. So we're gonna run in here, and we are going to put this, push this wardrobe. Now see, this is the more interesting part, right? This is the part where it's like, okay, you kinda have to set up a safe room, I've got this is boarded up. You can't see it because it's pitch black in here. But this is boarded up. This uh, this door is not boarded up, but the one that goes outside is boarded up as well. And this one's not boarded, obviously, but I have a wardrobe blocking it. Now, theoretically, this is where it should be pretty intense. Uh, and I have actually had it where the enemies do bust through the barricades and eventually get through. And they ended up getting me. Because I didn't really have anywhere to run, eventually. Because this house is kind of not set up in the ideal defensible position. Which is another reason I'd love to move to another house and defend it there. But, anyway, I found if you hide in this corner. Because before I was just kind of taunting them by standing by the window. the Excuse me, the boarded up window. And they <laughs> found me and busted through eventually. Uh, and killed me. So, they sound like they're pretty close. 
Oh, sounds like they're busting through somewhere. Oh, right here, as a matter of fact. I want to go ahead and barricade it. Yes, please, today. All right. So that is barricaded. I want to see if this one's that's barricaded like all the way. Now this is probably where a torch would be coming in handy, but I don't think I have the stuff to make it. All right. So another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a bear. We're gonna set a bear trap right here. Here should be fine, I guess. But as you can see, he's almost through the barricade. I'm going to keep pushing this against the wall. Now, another thing I found out, which I don't think is quite intended, is if you, you can get an enemy stuck on the other side of an object like this wardrobe and beat on them with your whatever weapon you have. So you can see the, the barricade's almost gone. I can't really see the other ones because it's dark in here and I don't have any torches. So there very well could be something coming up behind me as well. Or I can just barricade it again. All right, did that work? Yep, it sure did. Okay, so it looks like you can just keep barricading the door. And I don't, during the lightning flash, I didn't see anything out there. So we'll just keep barricading the door. We got plenty of wooden nails for the time being. The other problem I have is with the wood situation, you can't, as far as I can tell, you can't just go chop trees and get wood and make logs and all that. You just have to find them already, like, pre-chopped. I'm hoping there's nobody else. Ooh. That's the other thing I forgot. I put bear traps by these other areas, these other weak points. So if something did come through, that the bear trap would deal with them. Because I think bear trap automatically kills any enemies. Or at least it's killed any enemies automatically that I've run into. I would presume if I step on my own bear trap, though, that it will probably get me killed. So we're not going to we're gonna try to avoid that. Now, how long do you have to survive? I haven't really paid attention, but I think it's about... Five to ten-ish minutes. Nope, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. We're gonna barricade this again. Nope, no, nope. All right, well, the night's over, so we're not gonna barricade it, because otherwise we'd have to break it to get out. So wait, what time is it? Yes. So we made it to another day. The bad, bad things are gone. That's another thing that reminds me of another good thing to talk about is the sound. Sound so far has been really good for the most part. Uh, it's been very realistic, I guess you could say. Uh, it just like the doors opening, the lightning, things like that. I think sound is incredibly critical for games like this. Where it's trying to build atmosphere, trying to make it very tense, trying to make it very scary. So I think sounds are super important there for things like doors creaking open and walking on floors and things like that. And so far, it's I've been pleased with that aspect. There's also the oven. I should show you as well. You can make various cerium, cer cerium? serums. Right, we're going to use some odd meat there. Now we can make a serum. And it looks like you can actually make better ones down the line. But right now, we can only make level ones. We can see underneath objects, which I don't even know what that means. I guess if we have a shovel, we probably can dig it up. Uh, animals are less aggressive and more space in your heart, hut bar. Well, I'm going to say animals are less aggressive because animals are super, super annoying in this game. So I like it when they're, you know, not near me. And I think you just automatically use it because I've, I have not seen it in my inventory. So, yeah. So we'll go, we'll go make another run out, I guess. Show a little bit more about the, show a little bit more of this game. Uh, unfortunately, the only thing you can store stuff in your own base is a wardrobe. So I end up just cluttering the floor with, with my crap. Drop that. Hopefully it doesn't set it off. That would be bad. Wow, that gasoline is full too. You can tell how full or damaged something is, by the way, how much red is on the icon. I don't know if that was, that was obvious or not, but, but yeah. And there's some little bugs, like you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but like the numbers are kind of screwed up on the nail, like it shows 5 or something underneath the 10. But again, stuff like that's understandable with it being beta and all that. I'm going to drop the repair kit here. The pellets I want, just because I want to sell it to the vendor. If I can ever find him again, that would be great. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
Not sure what the broken glass trap does just yet, but we'll drop the matchsticks again. Well, yeah, let's drop the matchsticks. I'm trying to clear up some room here. The odd stone. I kind of want to take the or the weird stone. I kind of want to take that just because I don't. I think maybe the vendor will know what that is. I don't know if I can ask him about it. Probably not. But now see again. You can kind of board up all your windows and whatnot, but really it's not. There's no point to it. Because over here, you can't see it, but there's a big opening in your wall where something apparently busted in at some point. And you cannot seal that back up. But doors can get broken, things like that. So you have to, you know, spin wood and nails to fix the door, and then you have to barricade it. So there's definitely a lot of, you know, resource management going on and, and that kind of thing, which I'm totally cool with. But like I say, it's just been, it's just very boring so far and like i say that's it hurts to say that because i was really anticipating this game i was really looking forward to it and i it's definitely you know i do try to keep in mind it is alpha maybe there'll be more things to come but right now it's not really it, it's not even really a tense game for me because when i die i just get frustrated because i'm like uh now i have to run all the way back i have to build more weapons because my weapons are destroyed it's you know and i don't think that's going to be fixed just by having a harsher death penalty I honestly don't know how to fix that. It's just like I say, the death, when it happens, it feels more of an annoyance than anything else. I think a lot of it is because I have a quest and I'm just trying to progress the story. I'm just kind of like, oh, I just want to see what the next part is. But I've been stuck on this, like, I got this quest like three or four hours ago. And I've been trying to finish this one little leg of the quest the entire time. And it's just been incredibly frustrating um i don't have any i probably should have well i don't have any rags because i was gonna say make a torch because it's really dark over here did i pick that flashlight up i don't think i did ah, idiot i should have grabbed that flashlight i should have made room for that flashlight that was incredibly dumb move on my part to not pick it up and i have no clue where i am right now by the way like absolutely no idea because it is super dark and actually the time's not showing up Oh, looks like something's angry. Not sure what it is. Well, oh, looks like, yeah, we're gonna die. Yeah, there's a lot of situations like this, like, you know you're just gonna die. Like, I can try to drop a meat. Please drop it. There you go. I don't think he's gonna pay any attention to it. Nope, he's still right on me, though. So. Yeah, the only thing that seem to really pay attention to the meat are the dogs. But it's supposed to work on carnivores, which, you know, I can understand these. These are like freakers. I don't know if you, you probably can't see them. And, I mean, you can't see them now, period. Because of the light issue and, you know, because they're behind me or whatever. But uh, I've seen them a few times. They're just like these freakish humanoids. Well, we found a train wreck. That's good. At least we know where that is now. So, yeah, it just feels like I'm... If I was just exploring, if it was a, a situation kind of like don't starve, where I'm just trying to explore a sec a different section of the map, it would be a little bit different. Because why is my vision, my range of vision, so awful all of a sudden? I don't know if that's a bug or what, but yet I can't see anything, and it's not supposed to be night, so I don't understand. Again, it could be bug, it could just be. Let's see if we can get a torch. See if it is a, a darkness thing, maybe. Wow, it's really hard to see where I'm going. But yeah, like with, with something like, um, I call them rags. Perfect, that's exactly what I needed. I thought, oh shit, I needed my matches. But yeah, if, you know, with nothing like Don't Starve, you don't really have quests. You're just kind of running around, exploring areas to gather resources and do what have you. And you can move your base around, all that good stuff. But with this, it's like every time you die, you start at the same location. So you have to run all the way back. And you feel like you have to run back because, well, that's what the quest requires. So that you can, you know, progress. So it doesn't feel like I can just, oh, well, I can just go back there later. It's like, no, I want to finish this, like, today. So I guess it's later now? Normally when you die and restart, it's, it's like, uh, daytime. But notice the time is gone at the top right. And it's just really dark. The well isn't lit up though. The well, the well only lights up like at night when you can drink from it. So I honestly don't 
know what's happening right now, but I think I've shown just about enough of the game for the time being. And also, the the world is randomized, as far as I know. So, well, yeah, it's definitely randomized. So it'll be a little different, no matter what you know what you play. I'm assuming the locations will be roughly in the same area. But at least the the story based ones will probably be in the same direction or the same area. Oh, God damn it. Die, dog. But where was that train wreck? Where were we? Church ruins. Train wreck. Ah, uh, okay. We were just went way too south. We need to go more east. But, uh, oh, I'm, uh, those dogs also cause bleeding, which causes even more damage over time. So, yeah, that was uh, Darkwood. Right now, do I think you should pick it up? No. Uh, I don't think there's enough things to do. I feel like it's... I, I just, I just, I guess I do, to be brutally honest, I was bored the majority of the time I was playing this. And I kept playing it longer and longer and longer, thinking, well, if I can just get this quest done, maybe it'll pick up. Maybe it'll unlock some more things, and maybe it'll be more interesting. But the entire time I was trying to get this quest done, it just felt like a, shlo a slog. And it was just, I'd die, get killed by some random enemy because my weapons were broken or because I ran out of stamina. Or whatever, and it's like you have to start all the way back to the base, and have to run all the way back, and you get lost, and it was just like, uh Like, it, again, it wasn't tense at all, it was just tedious as hell, just like, like that. But, yeah, I just, I think this game needs a lot more time in the oven, as it were. Again, it is alpha, so I'm going to keep an eye on it, because I, I think this is a cool, cool idea, I like the world, I'm interested in finding out what's going on. Uh, I, I think it could be interesting, but right now, it's just, I don't know, it's just very, very boring so far to me. And I would say hold off to it. Hold off on it, unless you just really want to, you know, try it out, obviously, early on. Then you're probably not even watching videos like this. Or if you feel like there's enough content there. Like I said, maybe after you complete this quest, where you find this kid's violin, maybe things open up more. But so far, just doing that quest has been taken forever and just been boring to get get to it and you know just frustrating to actually do so anyway yeah i'll probably check this game out in a few months maybe once it hits the beta status see what's changed uh but uh, right now i can't really recommend it for those survival horror fans thank you guys for watching as always like my videos if you like them leave comments let me know what you thought of this game or the video in the comments below I'll also have all relevant links in the description below the video. So if you do want to check it out on Steam, it will be there. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Step back, though. We are getting this I, I do hate up you, about a mobile game. I mean, I do hate you, though. <laughs> I want to be 100% clear with a moment of seriousness. I hate your guts.